Hello friends, welcome back to my channel RNF Breed. I hope you all are doing well. I am back again with another informative video. This video is going to be regarding CAT, that is computerized adaptive testing, which is used for nursing exams like NCLEX RN and Rex PN in United States as well as in Canada. In this video, I am going to talk regarding why this CAT system is used for nursing exams like NCLEX RN and Rex PN and how this CAT system works. So I am going to talk regarding minimum set of questions that are asked during each exam along with exam length. I will be talking regarding pass and fail rule for both NCLEX RN and Rex PN exam along with examples. This video is going to be useful for both domestic as well as international nursing students who are looking forward to crack their NCLEX RN or Rex PN exam. And also this video is going to be useful for international nurses who are looking forward to become a nurse here in United States or Canada. Friends, if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please do consider to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon in order to get all the notifications for the future informative videos as well. So friends, without any delay, let's start with the video. NCSPN, that is National Council of State Board of Nursing, develops NCLEX RN, NCLEX PN and Rex PN exam both in United States as well as in Canada. NCLEX RN is an exam for existing nurses both in Canada as well as in the United States, whereas NCLEX PN is an exam for practical nurses only for the nurses in the United States. And on the other side, Rex PN is a fairly new exam that was introduced recently this year for practical nurses in Ontario and BC. These three exams uses computer adaptive testing that is CAT system that is used to measure the competences needed to perform safely and effectively to provide patient care as a newly licensed nurse or as an entry level nurse. CAT is a method that is used to conduct NCLEX RN and Rex PN exam that uses computer technology along with measurement theory to increase efficiency of exam process. Moving forward, let's just talk about why this CAT system is used for conducting these nursing exams. So there are five reasons to answer this question. The first reason is it reduces the number of easy items that high ability candidate can receive because easy items gives less information about a high performing candidate ability. Second reason is it reduces the number of difficult items that low ability candidate receives because candidate have to guess on the items that are too difficult for him so it might alter the test result. Third reason is it reduces the number of item exposure and the security risk. Fourth reason is it improves the measurement of testing candidate ability related to nursing. Fifth reason is it provides valid and reliable measurement of nursing competencies. Proceeding further, let's talk about how does computerized adaptive testing works for nursing exam, that is NCLEX RN and Rex PN. So every time you are going to answer the question during the exam, computer re-estimates your ability. Re-estimation is going to be based on answer to the previous question and the difficulty of that question. Further, during the exam, the computer will select to ask you the question that you are going to be have 50% chances of answering that question correctly. Means by using CAT system, the next question should not be too easy or too hard. With each passing question, you are going to feel that exam is getting difficult because the computer is going to test your ability to answer those questions correctly. The goal of computer is to get maximum information regarding your true ability level. So basically during CAT system, computer estimate your ability and it become more precise with each question you are going to answer. Moving forward, let's talk about how many questions are asked during NCLEX RN and Rex PN exam and what is the length of these exams. Currently, both for NCLEX RN and NCLEX PN, the maximum number of questions that are asked vary from 75 to 145 and the length of exam is around 5 hours. NCLEX exam also includes 15 items or questions that are used for pre-testing. On the other side, Rex PN exam challenge you questions from 90 to 150 and 30 items of which will count towards pre-testing. 
So pre-testing means these items are included only for research purposes and the scoring of these items will not count toward your exam. Friends, here I just want to let you know that I have already made a detailed video on NCLEX RN along with study resources and what resources you need to follow in order to crack this exam during your first try. If we talk about RexPN, I have already made videos on the study resources as well as the test plan. So you can go check that out in order to get more information from those videos regarding these exams along with study resources. Proceeding forward, let's just talk about NCLEX RN or NCLEX PN and Rex PN exam pass or fail rule. So there are three rules on which computer is going to decide that whether you are going to pass this exam or you are going to fail this exam. So if we talk about the first rule, it is 95% confidence interval rule. So this 95% confidence rule is most commonly used for all the candidates. Computer is going to stop asking you question when it gets 95% sure that you are either above the passing standard or you are below the passing standard. For example, if you look at this picture, then you can easily see that each question is answered below the red line. So red line here denotes the passing standard. So each question is answered below the red line or the passing line. So clearly candidate is going to fail this exam because all the questions are answered wrong. But on the other side, if you are going to score above the passing line or above the red line, then you are going to pass this exam as per 95% confidence rule. The second rule is maximum exam length rule. This rule applies to you when your ability is very close to the passing standard. Computer continues to give you questions until the maximum number of questions are asked. In this particular scenario, the computer is going to disregard 95% confidence rule and is going to measure your ability by asking maximum number of questions. Pass or fail is going to depend on final ability estimate. If your final ability estimate above the passing standard, then you are going to pass this exam. But on the other side, if your final ability estimate is below the passing standard, you are going to fail this exam. For maximum exam length rule, let's look at the picture. Candidate was tested full exam, but when the candidate reach a 60 exam, the computer evaluate the candidate performance. So computer was not able to make the decision as per 95% rule because candidate was not competent enough. Then computer will continue to ask you question until you reach the maximum questions during the exam. So currently the maximum number of questions that are asked during NCLEX is 145. Proceeding further, the third rule is run out of time rule. When candidate runs off time without reaching the maximum number of questions and computer is not able to decide whether you are pass or fail using 95% confidence rule then alternate rules are used. If you did not reach the minimum set of questions, then automatically you are going to fail the exam. The second is if you answer the minimum set of questions, that is 75 questions, but the computer was still asking you question and you run out of time, then exam is scored using the final ability estimate depending on your answers to the questions. If the final ability is above the passing standard, again, you are going to pass this exam. But on the other side, if the final ability is below the passing standard, you are going to fail this exam. So friends, that was all regarding today's video regarding computerized adaptive testing that how this testing system is used for nursing exams. That is NCLEX RN, NCLEX PN and Rex PN exam. Please do consider to hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon and leave me a comment with your queries. Your likes, comments and your subscriptions keeps me motivated. Thank you and have a wonderful day.